can get this working on uh, Facebook that had a problem with uh, SceneSat last week. Hopefully this week it will work. if it works or not oh yeah face palm works again thank you zephoid of your valuable fix of putting ssl working again hey alkama how's how's it going we're waiting for truck truck is kind of uh, missing in action should be arriving any moment now Yes, he got home from the tram, and he might be somewhere. Lost in the bathroom. Lost in the apartment. I'm just trying to find his keys. He's uh, rebooting the computer. Strangled himself, looking for the microphone cable. <laughs> Anything is possible. <laughs> we can rewatch some stuff from Xenium while we wait. I watched your stream a couple days ago, Welcome, or yesterday. Yeah, it was yesterday. So it was looking pretty good. A wild truck suddenly arrives. Hi, I go get my other glasses. Okay. And That's I will fix the stuff that got ruined on the screen. There's a Frankie. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're all ready to start the show. Well, as soon as Chuck gets his glasses. Yes. Oh, I got a green background. Green backgrounds are important. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hey, Borussian. Welcome. We saw this last week. Yes, we did. Yes, we are okay. we are killing time until the hour officially starts, and then we'll right. go through making sure that everybody shows up. Yep. Yeah, Random the... people riding trams. I don't know what was up with my not being able to reply to you. I I don't know. I was waiting anxiously for your message back, and I heard nothing. Mm. Where's the like Facebook link so I can share it? But on which Facebook page? I officially don't care. I know you don't. So I'm not asking you. Uh, you can just uh, paste the Twitch TV slash PS enough. That's fine. Okay. Did we get scenes that working? Or I did not have a chance to mention yeah. it. Scene okay, set good. is working and relaying to Facebook properly again. Apparently, Facebook changed some stuff with making their stream secure, crazy people, and so they added an uh, S to their protocol, which kinda broke things. Hey, Coxus Classic, welcome to the stream. We're about to get started, just five more minutes. We will go over releases from Cafe, releases from Zoo, releases from Tersak, releases from Inertia Demo Party, releases from Syntax, and uh, Vortex as well. And Silly Venture. Wake me 
yourself. Let's restart it for a second here. Not sure why. Let's skip to something else. Let's Were you watch getting down. Also Was it what? Was it skipping in places for you? Yeah, it was. Okay. But I was changing playlists, so that's probably what caused it. And now with the power of not changing fucking playlists while things are playing, you will have a much smoother experience for everyone. Hey, Burn Duffman. Welcome to the stream. Um, so, uh, I have a question about the, um, your place and, um, the, uh, new kid and the rabbit. Mm-hmm. What's the question? How's the rabbit dealing with not having its food, um, placed in the location where it used to be? Uh, well, it is placed on the same place. So uh, maybe I'm missing a joke there. No, I'm one. You you actually do that still with the kid? Yeah. I have the kid in the living room. The rabbit is also in the living room. The rabbit is free, and I put. Well, I I we sort of stopped putting food on the floor in the kitchen, and we now only put the food in the rabbit pen. But he's still mm -hmm. roaming around free in the house. So. No, see, right. that was my question, was the food on the floor hmm. in the kitchen strikes me as something that the child would, um... Well, he's not crawling yet, so uh, not okay. big danger so far. But yeah, eventually. Yeah. I'm more worried of him eating the, the, the poop of the rabbit, to tell you the truth. Yeah, to be honest, that's, that is a... That is a um, <laughs> valid yeah. concern. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, anything on the floor, anything they can get their hands on... Hey, what does this taste like? It's gonna be a learning experience. We don't want to deprive our children of any experience whatsoever. Right. We want them to fully enjoy all the wonders of the world. If eating poop of the rabbit is part of it, so be it. Yeah. If it meows, it's not a bunny, that's true. You also have a cat around. The cat has been a little bit more annoying than the kid, especially when you're trying to put the kid to sleep. And she starts meowing desperately, because we're not clearly not paying enough attention to her. Can get a bit, a bit annoying, but we've been surviving. She actually jumps like to the doors. If the door is closed, she jumps into the door handle, trying to open it and makes a very loud bang and might potentially hurt herself, but well. So this is Minim from Altair. Oh, Altair, apparently, according to Truck. The, the Seriously, American... I have no idea how you get that pronunciation. Yeah, it's Altair. Uh, uh... <laughs> you're you're in Finland and you don't get how people say the way that it's spelled? You didn't pronounce it the way that it's spelled. It's Altair. It, uh, whatever, Altair. What's that sound you're making at the end? Ir. I R. Ir. Altair. That sounds yeah. like an H. Hmm. I guess it's the it's the Portuguese pronunciation that might uh, throw you off, or the way that yeah. we pronounce I R, we say ir, which you clearly don't anywhere no, in don't, the world. They don't, uh, they don't pronounce it that way here in Finland. I can bear. I can. I I managed to half do it once. The uh, the Finnish R. 
Uh, Cox's Classic is asking if Memento is still up for Saturday. Yes, it is. At Mill in Lisbon, we're going to get together and maybe code some demos. Hopefully code some demos. This I'm going to take my laptop and see if I can get anything done. So yeah, show up. I think we're going to start around 3.30 until 7 or something. So yeah, do show up. Anyways, it is 7 o'clock Lisbon time, so it's time to get the show on the road. Welcome everyone to Mystery Demo Scene Theater 9000, uh, Season 4, Episode 10. I have with me the arrogant bastards Frankie and Truck. Mm -hmm. And together we are going to take a look at some of the last demos of 2019 that were released in um, the months of October, November and December. So starting off, we're going to start with the CAF party. At CAF party, they had a lot of different categories. I'm One sorry, of them... how are you pronouncing that? CAF? CAFE? Uh, okay. I swear to God, dude, you're, you're like, okay, these are simple do, words and you're not do, even getting close. No, it's do... CAFE. It has an, an accent in the end. CAFE. Yes. Yes, yes. No, not like CAF. It's like, we need to work on your pronunciation. <laughs> You can work on our Portuguese pronunciation, but I mean, seriously. Yeah. <coughs> and people tell me I have very good English, so beware. You do! That's why I'm shocked that you can't pronounce party names and group names. It's coffee party! I always said coffee party! I don't know what's wrong with you guys. Maybe if I've attended them more, I knew the, the proper way to pronounce them, so I don't know. You pronounced it calf, as in a small cow. The calf. Because for us, cafe is coffee, so yes. I say it, I say it like coffee in Portuguese, yes. obviously. Yeah, cafe. Oh. That, 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 that's the dit, you know. The cafe, the coffee, it's not cafe. Like, <laughs> like, like, you know. Because it has a it, it, it has a tilde in the end, I think. Uh, now, now you're gonna get me. So therefore, it's it's your it's your lack of proper speech muscle. Oh, the, the E is lowercase, so it's even worse. So what platform was this on? NES. This is a NES, yeah. Okay, because I mean, it, it, it looked there for a second. I was like, oh, that's an N64. But no, actually, this is really impressive for a, a NES. Mm -hmm. Yes, I it is. Call, I call cheating on that 3D team, but whatever. Well, it's not like the Elix guys didn't play back <laughs> Bears. I was really what impressed with the movie. Never, never, never an animation. We have never been fooled by animations before. No. <coughs> That's new on the demo scene. Someone using an animation in the demo. Looking at you, drifters. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this one the console demo competition. They had a lot of different categories at Cafe. They have one specially for the BK, one specially Doing for the Amiga. Doing uh, it again. But the, the BK, I said BK wrong as well. No, but you were on the cafe. <laughs> uh, the calf. Can I say calf? Is that all right? No, it's no, cafe. it is not. That's the yeah. problem. It's a French cafe party. Cafe. cafe party. You know, or in Finnish, cafe party. Whatever. Cafe so, party. Cafe. With sausages. And Sausage. wiener Vodka. demos. Yes. Cigarettes with sausages. Anyways. Yes. Oh, there's a secret Mario part. I was gonna say, they, those don't look like tubes at all, but, well, they're green. Just watched an old school one man fast prod made for. Okay. Well, that was pretty nice. And that won the console that was demo comp. Nice for a fast production. Yeah. Featuring Dondi and Dandy. All right. Actually, anyway. um, so that first demo actually wouldn't have been an NES demo. It would have been a Dandy demo. I guess, technically speaking. I would, I would actually like to have a Dandy. Uh, I, I never had one, so I don't know. Well, I, I'm fairly sure that it is just um, a straight up. Uh, clone um but uh i believe it um is a pretty good clone 
but um, yeah, I don't think it has anything exceptional about the hardware. Um, Next up, let's go take a look at the Spectrum uh, uh, category. This one is called Haramamba Scene by Sip Crew, and it got third place at the Zilex demo compo. He uses multicolor tricks because they can. No, it did say Pentagon only. So. Yeah, yep. so it's one of those the Pentagon. The power stuff. of the Pentagon allows for such madness. Like having pink and purple. Together in the same memory square. It's definitely colorful. Twister! Multicolor Twister! Oh, I should clearly give up. Oh, this is the scene is that thing again? Yeah. Cool. Well, at least they're complaining about Yandex and not Google. <laughs> or Facebook. Well, well, you know, you you bitch about what you can access. Blah 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 ZX drama blah 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 The X demo category should be subdivided that you like hate the most um... <laughs> I'm I mean other than the color things I'm not sure why this would need to be subdivided out from the other I mean, it is, a, it's a nice demo, but it's not a, I mean. It's a nice Pentagon certain, demo. There are certain groups that I know on the um, uh, Specky that, um, like, I can't, I'm not, and I've already complained about your pronunciation, so I'm going to completely butcher screw you. Screw you. <laughs> um... I don't think it's screw, screw you though. I think it's there's a DJ in there, isn't there? S K. No, there isn't a DJ. It's screw you. S K R J U. Screw you. Demo zoo org. I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. There's a group called Screw You. Okay, so S K R J U. S K R J U. Yeah. Yeah, um, the J-U thing, I would not have put a, uh, pronunciation. Truck, you're just relentless with my pronunciations today. No, well, no, uh, this one, actually, I think you've got right. I just, um, because, you know, I have trouble, even though I'm in Finland, I do have trouble, um, when I see a J. Yeah, J's in Finland, be. forget about it. Yeah, it's... it's I've a, never seen yeah. a wild J in Finland. <laughs> they they don't say it properly, so it's impossible for you to identify yeah, that you're watching yeah. that you're looking at a J. <laughs> but anyway, um, so screw you or or uh, S K R J U or screw you. <clears throat> they uh, generally do extremely impressive stuff on just a bare specy. At least I think everything is bare specy. Uh, CPU and inward um, and. Um, There's, I know I'm missing. Fardy? Fourth dimension? Fardy. Well, you know, I was thinking of like, um, the guy, I mean, but Demarche has, haven't they done expanded specy things as well? Uh, as they do things? for stuff that also works on pentagons. Like uh, yeah. uh, one or two years ago, there was this controversy where they did a demo that was, Use some tricks, multicolor, so it kind of worked on the 128K, but had extra screens or extra content on uh, Pentagon. 
So yeah, uh, that's, that 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 counts as still, you know. I mean, they. But they it's cool that they really do like stuff. it well, works on both. Well, they just look yeah. slightly different. Yeah, better I mean, than well, not working at all. Uh, it wasn't Roots 2.0 the same thing? Didn't we mm -hmm. have uh, it? It worked on uh, AGA machines and had and extra ACS. parts that didn't. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, that's actually kind of traditional. Supporting something, uh, the older stuff, but having additional stuff on the new. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. So this is the best uh, ABBA demo. Well, the second best ABBA demo, because the best one is hyperventilation, obviously. But this is the second best ABBA demo I've ever seen in my life. How many ABBA demos have you seen in your life? Two. Yeah, so, well, still correct. It's a niche to be explored. Yes. Oh, and, 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 and don't forget the proper pronunciation of ABBA in Swedish is Gunter. Gunter? Okay, Gunter. that makes sense. <laughs> I'm learning all sort of pronunciations today. <laughs> uh, the correct pronunciation of ABBA in Finland is ABBA. Right. This I think is Oki... Oki okay, probably like, loves this one. No, no, if you, um, if you, if you would put this on a vinyl, you could see the Moiré pattern <laughs> on the vinyl, as you would do with techno records, where all the, all the beats just make nice squiggly bits. Well, you could could have almost taken advantage of that with that previous effect, instead of uh, having the. Um... Um, the flashing portion instead just uh, try to do something with the grooves well, well, since it had that um, eh, you know the grey portions that are um, vertically dithered stippled I guess not safe for epileptics uh, I, I think that at the time it passes all the YouTube compression and decompression is it, it, going to be okay. Yeah. Or even worse. Yeah, Reality for I definitely want to see this on a real machine. Don't you still have a Specky? Uh, I have, but not with me. At Inertia, this was already out, but I don't think we played it at uh, at Lord Cox's machine. He had a Spectrum there at the party place. He showed some demos, but I don't think this one was one of them. But then again, he also was playing stuff on uh, on on a laptop uh, thing, not. Not the CRT monitor, I think. I don't really recall that much. Need to need to see image, photos of that. Anyways, I really like this demo. It was pretty cool. Yeah. Got second place, and this is the first place one. Hey, Flace, welcome to the stream, man. Is this some kind of special stereo dual audio chip that they have in there, or what is it? Well, the Spectrum has three channels, and you can define them if you want left, right, and the other one uh, okay, mid. So you can define different stereo stuff. Okay. But usually like one tone on each and one for both. Yep, okay. Everybody knows that real music is mono. You pronounced that incorrectly just to just to pick <laughs> with us, right? <laughs> yes, Chuck. Okay. <laughs> B 
that's when this agrees. Says that it's hard stereo panned for channel. Only Amiga makes it possible. First of all. And of course turn them left, right, right, left to make absolutely no sense. <laughs> The Amiga is not hard panned left, right. None of the out, none of the 1084S and any of the various Commodore monitors did not put the audio in the, you know, in the left room and the then the right room. You could actually hear a separation because this, the or you couldn't hear the separation. Sorry, because the speakers were in the front, so it was mixed already. I don't know anyone that actually made mods or anything like that using headphones where they when, um, wired one to the, you know, the left side and the right side completely separate. So this whole thing of recording uh, stuff for the Amiga... Um, no, uh, that's not correct because when you look at, at here, the area over here is like Battle of Germany, France, you have the Philips 8833 monitor but the speakers were on the side, so trust me, we we, we heard this, this separation extremely hard. Yeah, we, we didn't. And that was we like didn't. the... You, you either had the Commodore monitor, or you went for the cheaper Philips one, which, which internally was exactly the same. So it was... Uh... Yeah, if you used the Commodore ones, then you, you didn't get that at all. No, we've always had, to my recall, speakers on the side of the monitor, and uh, not in the front. That's how they get you. Yeah, it, 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 I still, when people say, no, 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 this is, this is the only way that it was, no, bullshit. That's not the case. Oh. I, I knew no one that had a hard stereo pan at all. No, or, or you would, you would take your Amiga sound, plug it into a mixer and then to some proper speakers. Then trust me, those 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 needles wouldn't move in the same, you know, direction. So yeah, just brief. Of course, now when when we do parties, we like don't do the the, the, the hard split anymore because that's you know if your if your left and right speakers are 30 meters apart. Yeah, it it, does, uh, it just ruins it. It 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 kills it. So um, I think uh, at at the vision we like. And, but it's like an 80% settle, but yeah, have some effect. But I can look it up, I'm too lazy. Um, Charlie knows it from memory, obviously, how much we have yeah. left and right. It's a little bit just to uh, keep the, you know, general stuff going. Okay, so those were the highlights I picked from Kaf. Uh Next up, or whatever the hell Chuck wants to pronounce it like. And... How the, the hell are you getting it wrong? I, I, I don't know the right way to say it, so... Uh, yes, I, you do! I said Kaf, you said it was wrong. I say Kaf, you say it's wrong, so no, I don't you know. No, you continue to pronounce it Kaf, like a cow, a baby cow. <laughs> you need the E on the end. Cafe, then. Yes! That's, that, that's acceptably close. <laughs> okay. Anyways, we're at Zoo now, uh, I think. Uh, yeah, this is the demo by Rebels. Which were supposedly an uh, Amiga group, but apparently they also do uh, do stuff for uh, the C64. PC. They're on oh. pretty much every platform out there, and so. Ladies and gentlemen, PS has forgotten everything about the demo scene and how to pronounce stuff this week. Well, we're they were originally. <laughs> I was thinking about Rebels from Finland, and Rebels from Finland are mostly Amiga uh, Rebels. Am I correct in this? Or am I pr mispronouncing Rebels bad as well now? Because uh, oh, from oh, the wrong. PC Rebels that I know are mostly Hungarian well, and French, wait, so um, I don't consider them as part of the okay, Amiga scene no, because no, I haven't no, seen them is, make any Amiga stuff. It's Amiga demo, by the way. So this is Total Triple Trouble, the first Amiga demo that they're redoing. And ah, okay. All those, all those little lines there are... Um, it's out there on YouTube and everything, and it has like the most awesome. Um, maybe we would call it techno soundtrack. It's called Total Triple Trouble. But that's going saying that it's a remake of a tune by Chromag, used in an Amiga production. I'm talking about okay. the music. I'm talking about the effect with the eye and things that are is are we is visible now on Twitch, but we've talked about this five minutes ago. Yes. Mm -hmm.
We are now at the unreadable scroll part. Yep. I'm, I, I'm wondering if there's another part or if I should just skip to the next. Um, let's see. Oh, it's slightly different. Yeah, well, but it's, yes, it's, it's, it's like slightly less unreadable. <laughs> Was she like Lobo, Lobo, Bobo, Bobo, I give up next. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, stay... Oh, wait, stay cute? No, stay... stay thirsty? Thirsty. Stay thirsty? No beer for you? My stay friend. Stay thirsty, my friend. Okay, I now want the rotating beer. <laughs> Please! Oh, something is happening! There we go. That's an awful long pre kill That's a Swedish flag. Yes. Which is weird, because Zoo is a uh, Finnish you'll, party. You'll notice that the people that uh, are being mentioned are... Um, Like, I mean, anyway, I'll, I'll just skip. We've already given you enough shit for, for inaccuracies this week. What, they're all Swedish? That's what you're... No, it mentions that the Swedes are right here. But my, I, it wasn't droopy... It wasn't... It was droopy German or Danish. Well, I know Vincenzo is Hungarian. Does that count? And he made the music for this. Close enough. Anyways, next production by PWP. It's called the Meta Dimension. It's a 4K. And it's taking <laughs> off. Were you actually at Zoo Truck? No, I do not know what I had that weekend that prevented me from going. Yes, Droopy was Danish. Still is. Oh, um, also, Truck, Felice is asking why, why your camera is broken. It's not broken. It, it's stuck on one permanent frame. Yes, so, please. From a photo of 10 years ago. Yes. <laughs> but I do like that we are showing the demos uh, full screen. Of course we are. It's cool that this is generative. You can just pick different seed and it gives you different uh, results. Seat. This one is extremely black. There we go. This got fourth place at uh, Zoo. Coming up next, we have April Marble by Accession. Or as I pronounce it today, Accession. I would allow that. Yeah, we're, we're okay with that. Accession <laughs> is uh, perfectly fine. Très joli. I am wondering. Who coded this one? <laughs> I like the music in this one. Could have been bright light? Uh, very possibly bright light. Thank you. 
boy goes behind the font. Of course, it's a Commodore 64, it can do good things. <laughs> Insane trickery. Ooh. Thou shalt not set the foreground background register. <laughs> I don't know any I don't know any t-shirts or anything that have that in it. <laughs> Yeah. Um, also, I, I also I do like the fact that it is actually reflecting the. Uh, mm -hmm. um, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. The logo. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, we should do new T-shirts because mine. Um, I know. Yeah. We should uh, do new T-shirts because mine's uh, died. Second for DDT. That's a long second. He would now be yelling at us for doing it so long. <laughs> uh, he would. Yes. He would, he would. No, he would actually probably be standing in the front, uh, <laughs> saying saying that it was him, and stumbling <laughs> over something. The eagle has landed. And then yeah yeah that that one and uh, I remember when we were at. Uh, um, it didn't tell us who coded it. Okay, so we're gonna have to go find out. Um, um did it this story when we were in the um uh, it does not say who coded it at all that's interesting i'll ask Mystery bright light. It's, probably, it's probably gonna be bright light um when we were at uh the fairlight um a 20 year thing and um which was uh 